Hey guys, welcome to Just Pick and Learn. This is Sahana. Many a time we come across a situation where we have to write text to our file. In this session, we are going to learn that. Let's begin with creating control application. Open Visual Studio, whichever version you have, I have 2022 installed in my system. Click on create new project, then choose control application template type, click on create, give some meaningful name and click on next. If you notice, I am targeting .NET framework file, click on create, this will create the control application for you. Let's begin the logic. Here is our control application. Let's ask the user to input the text. Now, we need to store the text in some variable. I will write readLine method and I will store the input in a variable called text. Here, writeLine is a method from console class and we use this method to print the message on the console window and we use the readLine method to read the input from the console window. Our requirement is to write the text to a file. So we need to know the location where to store our file, right? Let's declare the variable. Let's assign the path. I will declare a constant of the type string and I will name it as path and here is the value. Now we, ha now we have the input and we know where to store the file. Let's ask the user how he wants to store the file. Whether he wants to overwrite the file or update the content to an existing file. So we are printing the message on the screen. Now we need to write a code to store the selection that the user has made. This is the piece of code that will read the input that the user has entered that is the selection we are using this try parse method to convert the string to integer because we want the selection in an integer form one more advantage of using try parse in specific is it is capable of handling the exceptions the flow is readline method reads the input and this try parse method converts the string value to integer value and stores that converted value in out variable which is of the type integer and it returns one more value that is boolean value and we are storing that boolean value in a variable called is valid number now i'll write the if condition to make sure that user has entered the valid value the condition is going to be if it is not a valid number or the selection is less than 1 or greater than 2 then we are going to print a message saying you have to saying you have entered invalid option try again if everything is fine we shall write the code inside the else block and we will write a logic to write the content to the file now I'll create a method which will write the text to a file. Here is the method. Write text async is the method name. This is the name that we have chosen and this method will take three parameters path, text and append. Here if you notice async task. Here this async keyword tells that this is asynchronous method. By the way what is asynchronous programming? Okay, in simple terms, application need not wait for one task to finish before starting the other. Multiple operations can run simultaneously and when all the tasks are done, application uses the results of all these and present the output. And this is mostly used when you have any I.O. bound needs such as requesting data from network, accessing database or reading and writing to a file system, etc. Now, how we are writing the text to a file? For that, first we are creating the instance of stream writer, passing the path, path, 
path is having the value where the file has to be stored as well as the file name and it takes one more parameter that is append. Append tells whether to override the file or to append the content to an existing file. If you notice, we are using the using keyword. We are telling the compiler to dispose the object at the end. That is, using declaration calls the dispose method on the object in a correct way when it goes out of the scope. We are calling write line async method from a stream writer class and we are passing the content that has to be written. Next task is to call this write text async method from our else block. How are we going to do that? Here I have a code. Don't worry about the error. I'll tell about this later. If you notice the code, first I'm writing the switch case because I want to deal with two situations. One is when the user wants to append the content to an existing file. In a second case, the user wants to overwrite the file and create the new one. Uh, coming to case one, here if he selects one the content will be overwritten if he selects two we are calling the same method but only difference is in this case we are passing the value we are passing the boolean value true because we are telling the method to overwrite the content and at the end we are and at the end we are printing the message saying this is the location where your file has been created don't worry, it will be clear when we run the application and see the output. Okay, this is our code where we are dealing with both the cases. But why are we getting this error? The error message says the await operator can only be used within an async method. So, what is the solution? For that, we should make our main method async. Instead of wide, I will see a sync task. Then the error has gone. But one thing that you should remember is this async main method concept has been introduced from C sharp 7.1. If you are using older version, this may not work for you. I'll run the application and show you the output, then it will be more clear. I am entering some text. Now it will ask me to choose the option. I will say or write the file and it will say content has been created in this location. Let's verify this. If you notice the file has been created and it has got the content GGG. This time I will enter different text and I will choose or write the file. Now the content has been overwritten and it has got the new content. Let's update the file. I'll choose 2 and let's test the file. This time content has been appended. Okay, before closing the session, I want to show you one more thing. If you notice, here our extension is .txt. This means we are creating the text file. If you change the extension to doc you will create the word file in this location the doc file has been created let's verify that we have both the files this is our word file because instead of txt we have given the doc extension so the word file has been created the same way you can test with dot xls or dot ppt file extension decides the type of the file to be created Thanks for your time and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks again.